actually, I do want to just do like a little warm up here with you guys. Just a, uh, All right. just a little thing. I've made a game called Pitch This or Welcome to Hollywood, where you pitch a movie based upon All what, based upon what you get. So it's like Cards Against Humanity. I will give you a genre. I'll give you the setting, the actor, or actress, and character. And each round, a person becomes an executive and has to choose between three movies. And you guys do the best to pitch a movie that makes you want to win the point. So, this is a chance to, you know, get creative with, you know, maybe could Hollywood be listening and be like, ah, right, we can make that movie for you. So, just a little fun party game that I made, so. Um, let's see here. Yo, I've never played Cards Against Humanity. It was a pretty good game. How dare you, sir? That's a great game. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. I didn't say it was a bad game, I just said I never played it. I know. Um, this, is, this is timing. This is very perfect. The genre is horror. So, October, horror, so this is perfect. It's a great genre to start with. So everybody gets the same genre. So let me pick cards for all three of you, because I will start things off as executive. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm going for it. <sighs> oh dear God. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, whoever gets that one is just gold there. But these. Oh God. Hold on. I will send you a private message. So give me a second here. All right. Okay. One by one, I'm trying to think of how to give this to people. I think I know who to give what to who. Uh, Cody. Oop, boop, 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 boop. Give me Cody. Give me Sim. And there we go. Okay. Minimize. Let's start off with Cody. This is Cody's. So. Oh, boy. Uh, remember the genre is horror somehow. <laughs> But, I mean, okay, so setting the location is, everyone's different, uh, so whenever you get your uh, elements for your movie, think about your pitch, and whoever has it can go first. When I shift everything off, just want to... Actor, I, I this is the luck of the draw. I mean, I I shuffled these once already, so this is the luck of the draw. So don't, especially with you, Cody, especially how the both the setting and the character kind of timed in together. Um, let's do. Okay. Uh, they already made that movie. I know, but make it to, make it to a horror movie somehow. Do a different take on it. <laughs> Do a different take. It's all about ad adaptation, at least. Okay. Dude, I mean, like I said, luck of the draw. I did not, like, do it on purpose. This is, like, luck of the fucking draw. Um, and, of course, like, like I said, one, one person who gets this is probably gonna be perfect. Okay, act trips. And... Takes me a while. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh crap, did I smell that right? Yep. You know, sometimes you gotta have to. <laughs> oh fuck me. Okay. Then. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the... I'm telling you. It's so fucking random. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is how you do. I, was like... I think that itself is a horror movie. <laughs> Make it work. Like... <laughs> what else do I have to say? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, Sam, you might uh, be set here with this because you actually have something to work with. Oh, boy. Um, da -da -da -da. Character? Get a character. Hold on. Thank you. Oh boy. And then the act. 
actress. Actually, there's only one person with an actor this round, so everyone else has actresses. Oh, I can stop this test. Thanks. All right. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you. All right, hold on. I'm going to minimize this for a quick second. All right. Okay, so <laughs> this... No, here Hearing the other's reaction, I think I'm getting the easy part here. You might. Um, the genre is horror, and we're looking for a new horror film based upon these uh, cash-in characters and actresses and actors. So, whoever is willing to pitch can pitch first. I think I got it. I think I might have something. <laughs> okay. All right. There's one story that's always been manipulated through the years. It is Robin Hood, but not through this way. This way takes a more darker tone. In a, in England during, I forget what year this was taken. But that's why we have researchers for. Our main character is played by Martin Freeman. He plays the role of Little John. And one night when he was very young, he saw the man of the woods, the Robin of the Hood, massacre his entire family in front of him. While Little John hid, he saw it all happen. Now, about 25 years later, Little John rallies a group. A gang of merry men to go into Sherwood Forest and kill the monster once and for all. Because Prince John's Matt, scratch that. We need a we need a woman. Princess Joina. Look like at Angelina Jolene, big rack. Sex cells. Yes. <laughs> okay. No no no. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, see how this went. She co she asks little John goes before her and asks her, give him the men he needs to go out into Sherwood Forest, to go out and conquer the beast. Does he do it? Who knows? Coming this October, Sherwood Forest. Insert Vincent Price evil laugh there. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. That's a start. <laughs> A start, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Just see how the other two compare. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> all right. I'll uh, break the ice for this one. So, the scenario was this. A group of uh, high schoolers are on a uh, senior trip. Instead of going to a theme park or anywhere, they go out to a to Paris. Part of it is also for educational purposes. But during this trip, they experience strange and peculiar dreams involving a sitcom set. And each time they are on these sets in their dreams, a figure comes out with a fedora and a red and green sweater, as well as uh, knives on a glove. They think at first it's a man, but lo and behold, it's Betty White. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, they are haunted by an evil Betty White. Freddy Krueger esque character. She'll pull off bad puns and kills them on each set. And each set will be very different. It could even go into uh, the realms of the Golden Girls set. And they'll even experience B. Arthur on set too, trying to warn them. Coming this October, Betty White is. Radina Kruger. 
I think I just killed a few folks out there. <laughs> You're God. <laughs> I know, right? Right? It's hard. It, it's gonna be hard. I mean, <laughs> I gladly watch that one over the whatever shit Michael Bay did to it. Oh shit. <laughs> I guess it's up to me, huh? Yeah. Yep. yep, yep. You're the last one. You try to go. Uh, go Jesus with it. Christ. Go for it. All right. Let's see what I can do with this. Um, the setting, 1945. The world famous archaeologist Indiana Jones heads back from defeating the Nazis once again, only to crash over the Sahara Desert. He wanders, only to come across an ancient tomb of a mummy. That mummy is going to be played by, wait for it, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> now our archaeologist <laughs> must survive her wrath. <laughs> and make it back to safety and break the curse of the Whoopi mummy. <laughs> Dina Jones at the tomb of the Whoopi. <laughs> Okay, you know what? <laughs> I can imagine that beating Tom Cruise's The Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> this is why I love this game so much. Oh, this is pretty good. This is good. Uh, Paramount's gonna see this and go, so that's a good idea. But not Whoopi Goldberg. Get someone else. I don't know. <laughs> Who it knows? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Oh shit, that's gonna be hard now to decide. Who? Oh fuck. There's there's like good pitches here. Oh my god. Um. Rosie O'Donnell. There you go. <laughs> I swear, I, I predicted this right away, but. Sam gets the point, because we need we need another fruit. <laughs> uh, I think I slayed them in the audience. Uh, uh, them in the aisles. Oh fuck. Okay, so if you guys are up to it, we can do another round, <laughs> and we can switch positions. So. This time around, let's have Cody be the executive, and the rest of us will pitch. Alright. Uh, this, of course, I'm still picking the cards, but I'm not gonna do well, it. Well, I was saying, I have, I have a deck of cards, but uh, they're all Doctor Who, so <laughs> I don't think that's gonna help. <laughs> Doctor Who. Uh, see what you can work with. I mean, you can always just, like, you know, sort of uh, roll the dice, so to speak. Make up something random. Pull some <laughs> D&D shit. <laughs> Uh, the genre is jo drama. 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 Oh, oh boy. Drama. No drama for your mama. We'll, we'll be pitching dramas. Okay, then. Okay, give me a second here. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? <laughs> what? to see what you guys say but oh god hold on okay let's do let's let's get okay let's do holy fuck for a drama yeah okay let's see how this goes <laughs> i swear these cards are all random oh shit this is why i created this game because it gets hilarious outcomes I did it at Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Alright, there you go. Alright. <clears throat> 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 
What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I think Sam's is good. I think Sam is getting the best end of the deal. Well, see how it goes. Oh, I think he's gonna go wild for a drama like this. Uh, let's see if I can do this right. Um, I mean the drama, so you could incorporate other elements to it as well for the genre. I mean, give you like a mixed genre if you want to, especially with <laughs> this character. All right. Uh, you can make it into a comedy drama if you want to as well. I never. Uh, <laughs> or a horror drama, whatever you want to do. But <laughs> fuck. Hey, what have uh, you got? Oh my god. I think, oh crap! Hold on, I gotta double check this. I think I spelled that right. All right. <laughs> Mine is, okay. Mine's pretty straightforward, but... Uh, Alright. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see who wants to start first. For a drama. A drama. Let's take it all back to the outback. Let's go to Australia for a nice little drama uh, set in the future or in the past. Post-apocalyptic. Uh, a character known as Mad Max. He had another feature starring Mad Max. Uh, but this time he's accompanied by a acclaimed actor. This is going to be an action drama of some sort, being with Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is going to be with Mad Max. They're going to have Mad Max meets this character name. Oddly enough, his name's George. He is lost in the desert and Mad Max finds him as he's exploring and trying to survive. And you have these, he was a runaway from walkers, these giant walkers, you know, the walkers that are in the movie for that brief scene. They're like, he's being chased down by those. And Mad Max was there to save Tom Cruise's George. And now they have to survive the rest of the post-apocalyptic uh, desert as they're being chased by everything known in the world. I mean, it has car chases, explosions, and all that stuff, but it's drama because it has a deep, like, emotional scene where George tells Mad Max about his family, and he starts to cry a little bit inside because it was such a sad story. Well, certainly an interesting uh, choice there. Um. All right, I guess I'll go next. All right, so the scenario is this: Nicholas Cage is uh, on a flight, but the interesting thing is there's someone else with him, and that someone, rather something, is the Terminator. And, <laughs> in a nutshell, another Terminator is on board with them. No one from... It's a different person from any of the movies. Not the female Terminator, not the uh, Robert Patrick Terminator, just somebody else. And he basically hijacks the plane to try and stop Nicolas Cage from making another movie. <laughs> but, of course, the original Terminator is trying to save him. So, it's an all-out war within an airplane. <laughs> and, of course, there's the aspect of uh, Nicolas Cage having his failed attempts of trying to be heroic and dramatic. But all he does is just mug at the camera. <laughs> I'm gonna stop the Terminator from reaching the airport. All right, let's see what I can do here. It'll be interesting, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, 
Picture this. We're in space. There's a space station out there. But it's failing. All the life support systems are going down. It needs to be fixed. And it, the only person that can do it is Spider-Man. He's been sent to the space station to help. And when he's there, he meets and falls in love with an engineer played by Jackie Chan. Will their forbidden love be allowed? And will they save the space station in time? Find out this summer. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have a decision to make, Cody. Which pitch wins? <laughs> I mean, some are obvious, some are just like. Well, I'm pretty sure out. I'm pretty sure with um, <laughs> with uh, Andrew, I'm pretty sure there's a fanfic out there already written about something like that. Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, next to the one where Little Foot travels back in, or goes into the future when 9/11 takes place. True story. Ugh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wow. <laughs> I wish I was making that up, too. I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck, why? <sighs> <laughs> okay, well, I would try and invest money. I would have to give my, uh, I <laughs> Sorry. I would actually have to uh, go with Andrew, because I would like to see how that fits in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Christ. Magic Jackie Chan kicking Thanos' ass out on his space toilet. <laughs> Yo, Sony was still in charge. That was going to be their third Spider-Man movie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. <sighs> All right, I think we have time for one more round. One more round, and we'll see who either, you know, so far Andy and Sam have a point, so maybe Cody gets a point or I get a point, or someone's going to be a clear winner here. So this round is going to be comedy. Comedy. And this time Andy. Uh, Andy gets to be uh, the uh, executive this time, so it's just Cody, Sam, and I pitching. So, all right. So I am going to... <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, <laughs> this is perfect. Oh, what the fuck? What? <laughs> no. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you this one. This one. Uh, uh. I don't know how you're gonna deal with this. Um, just so you know, there are cartoon characters in this character deck, so uh, just a heads up if you get a cartoon character, you have to somehow incorporate that into your pitch. Well, I'm sure we can make it better than the emoji movie. Uh, and actress. That's true. I mean, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's just the theory. Uh, bam. I'll be right back. Don't uh, start without me. All right. All right. It's uh, time to get our pitches set up. Uh, oh, yeah, this is the one I was going to do for him because why the fuck not? I know, right? Uh, I have a question. Why just, just why? I don't know. It's to draw the fucking cards. <laughs> I swear, these are shuffled. I didn't do this on purpose. I wish I did. That would be like so cruel. Like, here, you take these cards. But this is what I dealt for all of us. Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> I don't know why he's here, but consider this like, um... I don't know why he's in this place, Sam. I don't know why he's here. Okay, Once I'll you... take your word for it. I, I, I mean, I thought he was in one place, but uh, I guess he came to Earth somehow. 
good lord. <laughs> I know. Oh, we're gonna have a good time with this one. I know. <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting round. Oh, oh yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, my I have meant to, I have to take a while to think of mine because this. So, who wants to go first? Alright. Alright. I think I got it. I think. Go for All right. it. Coming this spring. One is an award-winning actress. The other wears the ears of the most powerful entertainment corporation in the world. Minnie Mouse goes up against Anne Hathaway in the epic spring comedy, Race to the Moon. Watch as these two lovely, gorgeous entertain women of entertainment go up against each other in an old-fashioned space race to the moon. <laughs> you'll laugh, you'll cry, some of you might even jerk off in the theater. Coming soon, spring, face to the moon. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> if there was an executive like that out there, I'd ask what kind of weed was he smoking there. Pretty sure it'd be on something stronger than weed. <laughs> yeah, it, must be, it must be. Jesus. Because <laughs> I got to get some of that good kush. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, here it is. Picture this. New York City. The biggest city of them all. One of the best cities to be. Also one of the most notable cities to have great apartments. So, yeah, yeah, uh, Melba Gibson goes in to make an apartment for himself to make a nice home and start a new life for himself. But he has to share a roommate with Darth Vader as he just <laughs> and so you've got the Dark Lord of the Sith versus well the anti-Semite crazy <laughs> son of a bitch trying to recuperate his own career will these two just continue to butt heads as they clash in their own apartment or will they actually try and get along coming this summer Sith versus Shithead <laughs> rated PG-13 <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm screwed. <laughs> okay. <sighs> He's been to Manhattan before. This time he takes North Pole. You know who that is. It's Jason Voorhees goes to the North Pole. Who? <laughs> Who's... <laughs> And Jason Voorhees meets a a scientist, a lead scientist in North, in the North Pole, played by Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Carrey is, encounters Jason Voorhees and must try to pick his way through and try to make him a good friend. <laughs> try to survive in the North Pole. <laughs> Coming this summer. It's Jason meets <laughs> Jim Carrey at the North Pole. <laughs> uh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I just imagine Jason go around like killing all the elves and stuff. 
shit. <laughs> <I'm> ridiculous. <laughs> like, pulls oh off a reindeer horn and, like, jams it through someone's face or something. Jim, Jim, Jim Carrey is Santa Claus. <laughs> Jim Carrey is Santa Claus, yes. Jim, Jim Carrey is Santa Claus. And he must try to stop Jason Voorhees from wrecking the village. <laughs> and this wacky comedy. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> wow. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy stuff. Crazy. Actually, I'm going to go with Mike. I like the uh, Jason and Jim Carrey. Just, just the classic. I can't beat that. <laughs> cool. All right. That, that is the game of Welcome to Hollywood Pitch This. It's a great game, folks. If you like this, we'll play more on the Cinema Lounge here. So uh, maybe we'll carry these scores over some other time. Uh, <laughs> Oh man! Oh lordy! Oh lord, he is right. <laughs> Thank you for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the podcast. Thanks for watching. Like this if you like some more of this. <laughs> okay. That's a creative game. It is. Very. <laughs> I do. I like it. It's something. I oh, can... if you think that was if you think that was creative, you should see the game of. Uh... Cards Against Humanity, that shit's crazy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. One of these days. Okay, one of these days I'll break you in, Andy. <laughs> Fair enough. There's an online version we can play. <laughs>